Hello my friends, today I will show you how to crochet this soft bubble. It's a great alternative for, for glass bubbles, which can easily be broken by kids or animals. These are totally safe and very squishy. Visit my website to see a written pattern for this project and other Christmas inspired projects. All links are in the description box below. If you find this video helpful, please give it thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click the bell button to never miss a video. For this tutorial I chose Phil Colana Peruvian Highland wool and a 5mm crochet hook, but you can use any yarn with the corresponding hook. To achieve such colorful design you will need yarn in various colors, but remember that the weight of your yarn will impact the size of your bobble. We also use polyfill for stuffing, but you can use yarn scraps or fabric scraps or cotton balls to achieve similar effect. Tapestry needle isn't required, but can come in handy. This project starts with a magic ring. I'm using the double knot method here because it's the easiest way for me. The full tutorial for magic ring should be ready very soon, so it will be linked here in the top right corner as well as in the description box. Once you've established your loop, make one chain stitch and work seven half double crochet stitches inside. To make a half double, yarn over, insert your hook into the loop pull through and pull through all three loops you have on your hook. Now repeat it six more times. Now that you've got all of your half double crochets ready, pull the yarn tail to form a circle. Insert your hook into the first stitch and work a slip stitch there. We are going to make two half double crochets in each stitch, but we start here in this, uh, in this space right by your chain. Now make one chain stitch, yarn over, you've got three loops on your hook, now pull through all of them. Now make another half double in the same space. Great! Now, as I said, work two half double crochets in each stitch, so you should end up with 16 of them. Working the first two stitches so close to the beginning stitch will help us get a tighter circle to start with. Follow me and I will meet you at the end of the round. I'm going to change the colors. Here I've got another color of yarn, so I take the tail and keep it with my fingers on the back of the work. And now I use it as a working yarn. Make one chain stitch. Now we are going to work one half double crochet, but in the back loop. As you can see, there is a back loop and a front loop. Instead of putting the hook through both, aim just for the back one.
Next work two regular half double crochets into the next stitch. This is your repeat for this round. One half double through the back loop and two half double crochets in one stitch. Repeat it eight times in total so that you've got 24 stitches when you're finished. I will meet you at the end of the round. Here, as well as in every round we're going to do, the last step is closing the round with a slip stitch. I will always change the colors here, but if you prefer going on with just one, it's fine too. Make one chain stitch. In this round we are going to work single crochet stitches, the ones without yarn over. Make two single crochets in the nearest stitch. And now one single crochet through the back loop. The rule for back loop stitches is always the same, it's all about where you work it, not how. This is your repeat. Two single crochets in one stitch, one single crochet through the back loop. Repeat it and we will meet at the end of the round. Close the round with a slip stitch or change the color. Make one chain stitch as usual. In this round we are not going to add any stitches, just work in the ones we have. Make one half double crochet in the back loop. And now another one, also through the back loop in the next stitch. Now make one normal half double, so go through both loops. This is your repeat. Two half double crochets in the back loops, one normal. Repeat it and we will meet at the end of the round. Close the round with a slip stitch or change the color. Make one chain stitch. As you can see the bottom of the bobble starts to look like a bowl and that's a very good sign. At this point you've got a lot of yarn ends inside your bobble and that's totally okay. There is no point in cutting them off as you will need to stuff the bubble anyway. If you want to be extra certain that it won't unravel, simply tie the ends together. This one is easy. Just work one half double crochet in each stitch but all through the back loop. It will create a nice line at the bottom of the row. Repeat it and we will meet at the end of the round. Mm -hmm. 
close the round with a slip stitch as usual. Make one chain stitch. Make one half double crochet through the back loop. And one regular through both loops. One in the back loop and one normal. Repeat it and we will meet at the end of the round. Close the round with a slip stitch or change the color. Make one chain stitch again and repeat the previous row. So one half double crochet in the back loop and one normal. Close the round with a slip stitch as usual. Make one chain stitch and work one half double crochet through the back loop in each stitch. Back loop only half double crochets all around. Close the round with a slip stitch or change the color. Make one chain stitch and in this round we are going to decrease the amount of stitches. To make a decrease with half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook as usual and pull the loop. You've got three loops on your hook but don't work it yet. Instead yarn over again and pull the loop through the next stitch so that you've got five loops on your hook. Now work all of these five loops together. You now have two half double crochets joined at the top, otherwise known as half double crochet decrease. Work one regular half double crochet in the next stitch, This is your repeat. Decrease followed by one regular half double. I will meet you at the end of the round. Now close the round with a slip stitch or change the color. Make one chain stitch. This is the round of single crochets without yarn overs or decreases. Work one through the back loop only and the next normally. Repeat until the end of the round. One single crochet in the back loop, one single crochet through both loops. I will meet you at the end of the round. Close the round with a slip stitch or change the color. Make one chain stitch. Work half double crochet decrease 
through the back loop. So exactly the same way you did in ra round 10, but in the back loop. Next, work one regular half double crochet. This is your repeat for this round. Half double decrease through the back loop and one normal half double. I will meet you at the end of the round. Close the round with a slip stitch and secure the yarn for a bit so that it doesn't unravel. You can pull it like I did here or use a stitch marker. At this point we have to fill the bobble with stuffing. I've got polyfill but cotton balls or yarn scraps will be fine as well. The more you add the more shape your bobble will have so don't skimp on the filling. Use your fingers to move it inside. When you are happy with how it's stuffed, insert your hook back and let's close it off. Work one back loop single crochet in each stitch. It goes much faster now that we have less stitches again. Close the round with a slip stitch. I proceed with the same color of yarn. Make one chain stitch. This round is all about decreasing as long as the top of the bubble is closed, but we are going to decrease with single crochets. Insert your hook into the nearest stitch and pull the loop. Now don't work it, but insert your hook in the next stitch immediately. You've got three loops on your hook. Now work all of them together. Great, do it all around. I have now finished my round, but there is still a hole. Without making any chain stitches, I simply keep on going with the decreases like so. Now I'm inserting the hook in a random stitch across and working a slip stitch, just to make sure the hole is fully closed. Now let's make a chain on which the bobble will hang. Simply make a chain of however many stitches you want. Mine is about 20 chain stitches long, but it's all up to you. Mm -hmm. 
When you are ready, fold the chain in half and attach it with a slip stitch to the base. I used a tapestry needle to hide the remaining yarn ends, but you can use a crochet hook instead. Your bobble is now ready. I hope you liked making it as much as I did. Remember that its size will depend on the type of yarn and hook you use. Experiment with colors and get creative. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or would like to see more, please leave suggestions and feedback down below. Thanks and have a creative day!